ആരൊക്കെ ലെഫ്റ്റായിക്കൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് വി വോണ്ട് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് സ്റ്റോഷാസ്റ്റിക് ടൂൾസ് ഫോർ ലാംഗ്വേജ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് സ്റ്റോഷാസ്റ്റിക് ടൂൾ ഫോർ ലാംഗ്വേജ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഓൾസോ എൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇൻ ദ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി എക്സാംസ് സെവറൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വിൽ കം ഫ്രം ദിസ് സെക്ഷൻ സോ സ്റ്റോഷാസ്റ്റിക് ടൂൾസ് ഫോർ ലാംഗ്വേജ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ഓർ സ്റ്റോഷാസ്റ്റിക് മെത്തേഡ് ഓർ അപ്രോച്ച് വി യു നാച്ചുറൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആസ് എ റാൻഡം പ്രോസസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ അപ്രോച്ച് ദ നാച്ചുറൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഈസ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എ റാൻഡം പ്രോസസ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എ റാൻഡം പ്രോസസ് ഓക്കെ സോ Randomness means lack of structure, definition or understanding. Viewing language as a random process solve various problems in natural language understanding in a mathematical way. So we can apply various mathematical concepts on a random process. So by viewing language as a random process, we can solve various natural language understanding problems that is we can apply various uh, methods to solve random process in mathematics so next linguistic analysis tasks such as analyzing acoustic pattern phonemic combinations analysis of grammatical structures etc can be performed so by using the statistical approach we can do these things okay such as analyzed analyzing acoustic acoustic patterns then phonemic combinations analysis of grammatical structure etc can be performed using this approach next various statistical approaches are which are the different statistical approaches one is markov model approach what is markov chain in the previous sem you studied about the markov model discrete markov process hidden markov model that concepts okay so various statistical approaches that can be applied is markov model approaches second one is decision tree approach you already know what is decision tree in the s semester 7 we study about decision tree and the third one is probabilistic approach in pass we can apply the probabilistic approach so in that there are two section one is probabilistic contest free grammar and the another is probabilistic lexicalized contest free grammar so in the probabilistic approach in parsing there are two approaches one is probabilistic cfg another is probabilistic lexicalized cfg so uh, these are the various statistical approaches by using this statistical approaches we can solve various natural language understanding for example these are the tasks that can be performed for example analysis of grammatical structure we can do parsing using these concepts okay so uh, that's about this uh, next explain how can formulate the part of speech problem using markov model approach this is another question explain how can formulate part of speech problem part of speech problem using markov model approach so what is part of speech problem
so here there is a sentence so here this is a sentence okay in this sentence there are uh, what is part of speech problem means uh, a sentence is given to you from that sentence you want to identify the noun verb article pronoun um, etc hmm? that is part of speech problem so what is part of speech problem for example uh, john gives a flower john give john gives flower gives flower okay suppose this is the sentence from that sentence you should find which is the verb in it which is the noun in it for example john is a noun flower is also is a noun then gives is the verb similarly if the john is there then there is the article okay there is the article so basically what of, what is part of speech problem means if a sentence is given to you then uh, or if a sentence is given to a system the system should automatically identify the noun verb pronoun article etc in the sentence that is called part of speech problem okay so now in we can solve this problem using markov model approach you can solve this problem using markov model approach what should be the approach that we want to discuss it first so this is the basic concept we define a set of words of our language sw sw is a set which in which we will define various words in our language for example w1 w2 etc wn here w1 is a w1 is a word one its corresponding word is a w2 is john in this way we will define various words in our language next what we will do next and a set of part of speech tag okay set of part of speech tags then we will define another set st okay st means it contains different part of speech tag okay which are the part of speech tag noun noun is a part of speech tag verb is a part of speech tag okay similarly uh, article this is a part of speech tag so in that we will define that terms t1 t2 t3 etc here t1 will be noun t2 will be article and so on okay so we defined two set okay we defined two set uh, sw and st sw consists of the different words set of words used in our language and st is the part of uh, tags okay part of speech tag so then what we will do then we will consider w1 w2 w3 etc wns wn which means these words and t1 t2 etc tns random variable okay then we will consider these terms as random variable which can take any value 
okay so here w1 w2 w3 etc wn are random variable which can take the value a zone etc etc in any order it can take the value similarly t1 t2 t3 etc tn are the variable it can take the value noun article verb in any order okay that's why these are called the random variables which can take any values so next what we will do next the pro then the problem is to find the value p of t1 this is the mathematical formulation of the problem now this is the mathematical formulation of the problem that is then the problem is reduced in this way find the probability p of t1 t2 t3 etc tn t1 t2 t3 etc tn given w1 w2 w3 etc wn so this is a conditional probability concept this is a conditional probability concept that is given which is given given a sentence of words in this order the order is w1 w2 w3 etc wn then what we want to find the probability of this uh, tags coming in this order okay these are tag so the tags coming in this order t1 t2 etc tn so we want to find the probability p so that is this is words order or word sequence this is the word sequence which is already given which is already given we want to find the probability of this sequence this sequence this tag sequence coming so word sequence is given ws is already given and we want to find out the tag sequence we want to find out the probability of tag sequence coming then with the maximum value that is we can try different different ways then of which that is we can try different different sequences tag sequences okay we can try different different tag sequences and the maximum the uh, the sequence with which gives maximum probability is the correct sequence so this is the concept we want to apply i will repeat one more time what is what should be our approach this is already given this is the word sequence okay next this is given already next what we want to do what we will do is that we will create a tag sequence in different order okay then this is t1 t2 t3 etc tn then we will calculate the probability of that okay next step what we will do we will uh, rearrange the tag sequence again we will calculate p okay in this way we will calculate various probabilities various probabilities will be calculated of which which probability which tag sequence will give a maximum value it will be the solution this is the approach we want to use that is maximize the probability of finding the sequence of tags t1 t2 etc tn given a sentence which consists of words in the sequence w1 w2 w3 etc wn so this should be our approach maybe 
നമുക്ക് സിമ്പിളായിട്ട് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതായത് ഇതില് ഓൾറെഡി എന്തുണ്ടാവും ഒരു വേർഡ് സീക്വൻസ് നമുക്ക് തന്നിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ഓക്കെ ഇത് ഫിക്സഡ് ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് ആ ഒരു വേർഡ് സീക്വൻസിൽ ഓരോ വേർഡ്സിൻ്റെയും ടാ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സ്പീച്ച് ആണ് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടത് അപ്പോൾ ഇത് ഫിക്സഡ് ആയിരിക്കും നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇവിടെ ഒരു എന്തുണ്ടാവും ഒരു ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവും അപ്പോൾ ഈ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ടി വൺ ടി ടു ടി ത്രീ എക്സെട്ട ടി എന്നാണ് ഓക്കെ ഇനീഷ്യലി ഇങ്ങനെയാണുള്ളത് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്രൊബബിലിറ്റി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും ഓക്കെ പ്രൊബബിലിറ്റി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും അപ്പോൾ നമുക്കൊരു പ്രൊബബിലിറ്റി കിട്ടും ഓക്കെ അടുത്ത് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഈ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് ഇതിൽ ഇതിൻ്റെ ഓർഡറിൽ ചേഞ്ച് വരുത് ഇപ്പം ടി വൺ ടി ടു എക്സെട്ട ടി എൻ ആണ് അത് നമ്മൾ ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ടി ടു ടി വൺ എക്സെട്ട ടി എൻ ആക്കും എന്നിട്ട് വീണ്ടും പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും അപ്പോൾ വേറൊരു പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി വാല്യൂ ഉണ്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഈ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസിൻ്റെ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഓർഡർ ഓർഡർ ചെയ്യും എന്നിട്ട് അവസാനം നമ്മൾ ഇതിൽ ഏറ്റവും മാക്സിമം ഏത് ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് ആണ് ഇങ്ങനെ കുറെ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസിൻ്റെ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും അതിൽ ഏതാണ് മാക്സിമം വാല്യൂ തരുന്നത് ആ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഈ സെൻറ്റൻസിൻ്റെ ടാഗ് സീക്വൻസ് എന്ന് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കും ഇതാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ അപ്രോച്ച് സോ നൗ ഹൗ ക്യാൻ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദിസ് ടേം ദിസ് ഇസ് അവർ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓക്കെ so how can calculate this this term can be calculated using this equation so this is the equation for calculating this okay this is actually uh, p of t1 okay p of t1 is the initial state into probability of w1 given t1 given t1 into probability of t2 given t1 comma w1 etc 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 this is based on the markovian model markovian model based on the markovian model this equation is uh, generated okay so we can uh, or we can write in this way no problem so this is the way to calculate this term or probability using the markovian approach so the above stated problem is difficult to solve but the, what is the disadvantage of this problem what is the disadvantage of this problem the above stated problem is difficult to solve why because there are three reasons behind this one is as the number of conditioning variable increases number of possible probabilities increases okay for example if there are four tags tags okay t1 t2 uh, t3 and t4 okay there are four tags t1 t2 t3 and t4 then how many possible tag how many tag sequences we want to try four factorial okay this is the t1 t2 t3 so we can rearrange this in four factorial ways that is total 24 ways we can rearrange so we should consider 24 cases okay if the conditional in variables is 4 okay is 4 then we should consider four factorial which is 24 cases so it will become a very complicated process as the number of conditioning variables increases so as the number of conditioning variable increases the problem will become complicated second is it is difficult to as estimate the probability values it is difficult to estimate the probability values this is the second point estimation usually done by counting number of occurrences of an event or word in a handed tagged training set if number of occurrences is low for a term we may get a wrong estimate this is the problem that is uh, for calculating the probability we need number of occurrence of an word 
in a sentence but if number of occurrence is low then we may get a wrong estimate this is the second problem and the third problem is it will take a long time to find the max probability this is the third problem so to solve these problems we need another approach these are the three problems so what is markov approach for part of speech finding uh, part of speech problem and what are the disadvantages next in order to make the above stated problem simple we can use markov first order assumption using the markov first order principle first order assumption uh, the above problem can be simple above problem can be solved easily so here in the markov first order present consider present considering thing depend only on the immediately preceding thing so this is markov first order property by applying the markov first order property the above problem about disadvantages can be uh, reduced hmm? above disadvantages can be uh, reduced its complexity of the above uh, disadvantage can be uh, reduced so uh, markov first order assumption is applied what is markov first order assumption that is present considering thing depends only on the immediately preceding thing not on the things more than in more distant part by using this assumption we can rewrite the this in this way we we can rewrite rewrite it in this way this equation can be rewrite written in this way and we can use Viterbi algorithm to solve this problem so by using this markov first order approach these three problem can problem complexity of this pro problem or uh, the disadvantage of the markov model approach this is the exact markov model approach this disadvantage of the markov model approach can be reduced by using first order markov property this is the exact model using first order markov property we can reduce the complexity of the exact markov model approach so this is about the markov model approaches for part of speech tagging problem next we want to consider decision tree approach so what is decision tree approach uh, we in the previous times we studied about id3 algorithm id3 based decision tree can be used to parse a sentence a sentence can be parsed using id3 based approach so here the mutual information shared between two random variable x comma y is used for dividing the training set and forming a decision tree okay uh, here usually we what we will do in the case of a decision tree we will create a decision tree by using by using the entropy information gain etc terms okay so here uh, for dividing the training set and forming a decision tree we will use this equation i of x y sigma x belongs to a sigma y belongs to a p of x y into log base to p of x y by p of x into p of y where x and y are random variable what will be x x will be the set of tags y will be the set of words then apply this equation apply this equation while creating the decision tree that is instead of using uh, entropy and information gain we will use this information this equation that is uh, mutual information shared between two random variable x and y 
for dividing and training set and forming a decision tree. This equation is used to please study this equation. This approach is also called more mutual information clustering. Okay. Sometimes in the exam they may ask question, what is mutual information clustering? So for forming a or parsing a sentence using decision tree, uh, we need a uh, measure. That measure is actually here, mutual information clustering. This is the equation for that. Just write it. Okay, next is probabilistic approach to parsing. The last topic is probabilities, probabilistic approach to parsing. So, this type of parser solves ambiguity problem clearly. Okay. So, sometimes in the above approaches, uh, ambiguity problem may raise. So, probabilistic approach to parsing is this type of parsing solves ambiguity problem. Speech understanding, converting speech to text and handwritten recognition can be performed by using this model. So, there are two approaches. One is probability corners free grammar. Okay. And another is probabilistic, probabilistic, this one, lexicalized CF parser. There are two approaches. Okay. In the university exam, uh, in the previous exam, they asked this question. Which are the different probabilistic approach to parsing? Explain with an example. Okay. So there are two approaches. One is probabilities, probabilistic corners free grammar, and another is uh, probabilistic lexicalized CFG. We can discuss that topic in the next class. Okay. Then we will go to the expert systems. That also we can discuss in the next class. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, please give me your attendance. Okay. Abhilash. Okay. Uh, who is absent today? Ansab person, no? Ansab. Okay. Arjun, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Already you given. It's okay. Thank you.